Since uh, 1978, when the public art program was founded, we have worked closely with the Albuquerque Museum. The museum and our program have gone through many transformations and uh, changes, but we've always had a good partner. And if you come to the museum area, you're going to see public art and art that's in the museum collection solely. But either way, you're in for a treat. This piece is entitled Variación Nuevo México and it's by Sebastián, a prominent Mexican uh, sculptor. This big piece by Sebastián is probably the most dramatic piece on the exterior of the museum. It's one of two that flank the northern approach to the museum and I think what they're talking about here is juxtaposing the contemporary world with our history. Um, if you look at the shape of this from a distance, it's referencing buttresses that you've seen on New Mexico churches. It references Pueblo architecture. It references also uh, some Mexican motifs that this artist is known for. He's uh, prominent in Mexico around Monterey and Mexico City. There are large concentrations of his work. It's a gateway piece of sorts on the north approach to the museum. On this side, we show concern for the contemporary, what's going on in New Mexico now. The other side is the Basque sheep herder. The sheep herder by Lincoln Fox is from 1989 as a counterpoint to the variation sculpture. This piece talks about the history of sheep herding in New Mexico and the heritage of the Basque sheep herders. This, like the other sculptures, on the north approach to the museum. And it's a good counterpoint to the other sculpture because it talks about contemporary issues on the one hand and our history on the other. This piece from 1990 is by Fritz Scholder, contemporary Native American, who's probably one of our national treasures. And I like this for several reasons. I like the traditional uh, subject matter of an equestrian, a rider and a horse. Whether it's a painting, a print, a drawing, or a sculpture by Fritz Scholder, you can tell. You know it's him, his mark making, his approach. When you come to the museum, stop by and get a map. This lists 65 pieces of outdoor art that are all around the museum. They're not all public art pieces, they're not all museum pieces, but together they make a collection that's really cool. Check it out.